Now we are working new details on yesterday's tragic discovery at Connecticut Point. The body of a 16-year-old swimmer was found nearly one day after he was swept away by the water. Tonight, a member of that search crew tells us just how dangerous this area can be. From the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estefan is in Warwick. It's hard to escape the beauty of this sandbar here at low tide. The waters seem calm, but it can be deceiving. Today we came out here with rescue crews to find out just how quickly the tides can change. A peaceful sound, a peaceful view, but all of that can change in seconds. Unless you know the tides in the area. A day after tragedy unfolded here at Connecticut Point when a 16-year-old's body was recovered from the water after being swept from this sandbar, we spoke with rescue crews who tell us they are here more than a dozen times a year for people in distress. It's really never safe over here. It's very misleading. Frank Colantonio with the Warwick Fire Department walked out into the sandbar with Eyewitness News on Wednesday. We stayed very close close to the shore and for good reason. They step onto the sandbar, then step off it. A lot of soft sand, kind of like quicksand. They can lose their footing. And it doesn't take a large amount of distance before you find yourself in some, some pretty deep water. Colin Antonio says that it's about more than just knowing the tides. Wind and weather can turn this deceiving calm into a dangerous mix. Narrows down coming through here and because you have the sandbar, so you have water being compressed down as it goes over the sandbar. So it's very deceptive. Danger signs do clearly mark the entrance and some have even suggested removing the sandbar. Decision that doesn't lie with the city, but with the Army Corps of Engineers. City officials know that people will still come and use this sandbar. They're just asking those that do to know the tides, to educate themselves and know how quickly danger can come into play. In Warwick with the Mobile Newsroom, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.